Welcome to Chem 105A, Experiment A2, the thermodynamics of a rubber band. The PPE required for this experiment is a lab coat, pants, closed-toed shoes, goggles, hair up if you have long hair, and gloves are optional. This is the experimental setup for the experiment. A water bath is attached to a glass apparatus to heat the water surrounding the rubber band. This can be controlled using a flow valve. Water can be circulated around the rubber band using the stir plate and stir bar. The stretch length of the rubber band can be adjusted using the jack. The rubber band is attached to the apparatus and the metal hook which is attached to the scale. The force measurements will be made using the scale. Temperature will be measured using the thermometer as shown and a ruler can measure length through the glass apparatus. This image of the experimental setup will be provided and we recommend that you refer to this image throughout the video. To start the experiment, you will need to turn on the water bath and allow it to reach 86 degrees Celsius. Then you will need to measure the L knot or the length of the unstretched rubber band using the ruler. And the mass of the rubber band using an analytical scale. You will then attach the rubber band to the apparatus and the scale using the metal hook. When doing so, make sure the hook is not touching the glass as shown in these two images. Also make sure that the rubber band is completely hooked on the lower attachment of the apparatus as shown here. To measure the F knot or zero force of the rubber band, Adjust the jack to loosen the tension in the rubber band so there is only enough tension to hold the rubber band in place. The goal is to measure the force of the hook and the rubber band suspended in water. When a force measurement of the rubber band is being taken with the scale, start with the larger weight and work your way down to make the level straight. The dial can make adjustments as small as 10 milligrams, as we will show in a little bit. This image shows how the scale can be made level using the weights. Once leveled, you will read the scale from largest weight to smallest. In this scenario, you will read the 10 gram weight first and then the dial. When reading the dial, start with the one gram position with respect to the zero notch. In this case, we would read five grams. Then you will notice that the zero notch is between the 5.0 and the 5.1 gram position, indicating that you have 5.0 grams. Next, you will work your way to the outer notches to read the 0.01 gram measurement. 
To read this measurement, you will look for the notch on the top that is best aligned to the notch of the dial. In this instance, 0 0.05 notch best aligns with the notches of the dial. To walk through this measurement reading, you will read 40, 5.05 grams. After reading the force measurements, you will then stretch the rubber band to the first stretched length or L1 using the jack. Next, you will open the flow valve and begin stirring the stir bar to begin circulating the hot water to heat the apparatus and the suspended rubber band. Then wait for the temperature of the apparatus to reach 80 degrees Celsius. After you reach 80 degrees Celsius, you will close the flow valve and stop stirring before leveling the scale and recording your force, temperature, and length measurements. You will then make 10 measurements of temperature and force as the apparatus temperature drops to 40 degrees Celsius. This Excel image is an example of a complete data set for one set of measurements. This procedure will then be repeated for a total of four different stretch lengths. In doing so, you will remove the rubber band to remeasure L0 and then reattach and reheat the rubber band in the apparatus before you measure the force, temperature, and length for the following three data sets. When finishing for the day, make sure to turn off the water bath and save your rubber band for future data sets, in addition to making sure to leave your workstation clean 